boleh tengok. So, I already uploaded. Okay. Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Uh, for before we begin, uh, we start with the uh, recitation of uh, Al-Fatihah, and uh, non-Muslim can uh, quietly pray. Okay, so uh, this is our third lecture. So I'll be uh, talking, uh, continuing about. Uh, The page discuss about thermal, electrical, optical, and chemical properties, cost and availability, uh, processing characteristics about process, and also environmental consequences uh, and its use. Okay, so some example of properties uh, that I've uh, touched on, for example, density, uh, strength, and also resistance to corrosion or corrosion resistance. Next, uh, I've also talked about process attributes, what kind of materials that it can handle, the shape, uh, it can make uh, the size, precision, uh, economic batch size, and number of units that it can make uh, uh, most economically. Okay, I uh, already uh, talked about it. Okay, so now I'm moving towards talking about uh, the design process. Okay, what are the process or flowchart that uh, that are involved when we're talking about a product or we're talking about selecting materials or or any kind of uh, procedure that that usually that we are counter uh, trying to achieve an objective okay you may have actually uh, touched on this kind of uh, process when you're studying for example uh, computer edit design okay uh, or product design uh, PDD for the design development during your uh, first uh, first years, okay. So this is an uh, a, a sort of a take on what kind of uh, uh, design process that that usually that uh, that that you did apply to uh, that 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 usually in the industry or or normally what what uh, what in, in in real life uh, being applied to. So today for the learning outcomes, okay, uh, I'll talk about developing a strategy for selecting materials and process design led. And next on how we're using translation, screening, ranking, and documentation as a tool in, in strategy, selection strategy. Okay, oh, I forgot to uh, uh, tell you that uh, our like our I have about about around twenty nine slides. So and then this is actually a, a two part. Uh, uh, lecture. So this is the part, uh, first part. So I uh, you looked at the at the lecture note that I already uploaded in ULEARN. Okay, so I'll be covering only the first part only. The second part I'll cover in next week. Okay. So what is the design process? Actually, a systematic problem solving strategy with criteria and constraints, and we use it to develop uh, possible solutions to a problem. Or trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, to satisfy uh, satisfy a uh, human need and narrowing narrowing down uh, choices to uh, one final choice, but though maybe not one final choice, but uh, maybe going towards towards it, means that uh, any kind of process that you use to solve strategy uh, problem solving strategy, you have any kind of uh, strategy that you use uh, for example uh, you probably heard some of you maybe have experience working you probably heard of a fishbone diagram where you uh, trying to solve a problem and trying to find the root cause of a problem so those actually uh, just a different kind of uh, problem solving strategy but <coughs> excuse me not necessarily a design process okay? we can actually use it but it's maybe not necessary uh, uh, calling it a design process okay because uh, the objective actually to really okay okay thank you for uh, muting. Okay, 
So, okay. So, design process, it starts with the market need. Okay, so the market needs comes from where? From uh, market survey, uh, from questionnaires, from research, or from uh, any kind of uh, information gathering that you, uh, you want to know what the market needs. And the products coming up to the products, we have another uh, uh, subset of calling a product specification, meaning that uh, what are the products uh, actually uh, uh, standard or specification, what is the information, the dimension, the criteria that we want, the function that we want, and the design process is actually bridging these two. So having the market needs on one hand and uh, achieving the product specific, uh, specification at the other hand, at the, at, at the other end. I mean that we're bridging these two, uh, these two object, uh, these two, uh, out, I mean, from the input, okay, going from coming up to the output. Okay, that's what the design process is, is set out to do. So, uh, so normally, uh, we, uh, what I'm, I'm sharing it now is actually that uh, there are actually three kinds of uh, of uh, design uh, flowchart uh, that yeah, that normally people uh, talk about or uh, that is usually oftentimes being being used. The first one is uh, is in this case is the linear concept, meaning that it's just in one direction, as you see here. Okay, in, uh, just one direction. So, <coughs> excuse me. So you have the market needs that you require, and then you have the product speci specification that you want to achieve. Okay, so how do you get from one uh, point to another, from uh, from the market needs to the product specification? Okay, so usually we start off with uh, uh, either the, the this is the the, the first uh, process that that uh, that that is going through is that developing the concept meaning that through uh, discussion, through brainstorming, so you're defining uh, early on roughly what you want, uh, what the product needs, uh, what the market needs, what the product has to be, uh, that can be achieved. So you have roughly the, the, the uh, trying to uh, uh, brainstorming, information gathering roughly, and then at, at, this, at this point of, uh, of discussion, at that time, you're just open to any ideas. You're not closing to uh, to all, uh, uh, I mean, like uh, and any negative or any kind of uh, constraints. You're not you're not bound by it. Meaning that you you want to open as much as idea, so that you want you don't want to miss any opportunity. Next comes to embodiment, meaning that you already have uh, the the concept uh, discussion uh, in hand that. Uh, through discussion, through brainstorming, you, you, uh, the, the team, or, or uh, I mean, like even yourself uh, alone, also come to idea that okay, this is uh, uh, I've already done the information, getting inputs and everything, so I want to close it. I want to sort of uh, make a, 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 a rough barrier on it. So then, from this, the embodiment is that you start to develop uh, some layout. You start to analyze uh, some of the concept that you've got input previously uh, roughly. So you start to analyze it, uh, I mean, uh, tackling it one by one, okay, and evaluating and to come up with, with some shape and form. Uh, that's why we call it embodiment, okay, trying to come up with a, a, a rough shape. And then finally, we come to the detail. So once you accepted, okay, once you accepted, uh, uh the, the the points that you've already done you already uh, even taken out probably during the embodiment you already taken out some concept that you, you don't yet you think is irrelevant or something that cannot be achieved so now is that at the final stage you already with the detail you already start to analyze each component in detail you already start it, uh, the concept and then you that rough concept is being uh, scrutinized and then you analyze it in detail so and finally, you want to come up with the uh, the final decision, the final choice of a material and process, preparing a really detailed drawing, really detailed specification of the of the product. Okay, so uh, and then it is actually not a, 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 a just one sided uh, a closed loop. It's actually a, an open. That meaning that uh, we we can also also I mean reiterate back. Uh, we, once we come up even with the product specification, we go back to the concept, then go through the embodiment again, and then go to the detail. So it's not actually just one uh, flow or one-way flow. It's 
uh, uh, a retaining cycle okay so this is uh, normally this is what uh, uh, i mean like basically what what people think uh, apa ni, a design flow uh, a design uh, process that 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 is uh, that is uh, being uh, being used or being being practiced okay as i said now we they, we start with the market need and then with the product creation we identify the need uh, we need to product a statement okay so and then between the new project lie like the set of the stages of conceptual embodiment and data design as i uh, explained more detail uh, previously okay uh, this is also uh, as i said just now at this stage all options are open you you don't want to start to uh, apply constraints applying uh, limitations on on your ideas you just want to be open as uh, as as uh, as as creative as creatively and as and exploring alternative as much as possible and then uh, and uh, the embodiment i already explained taking that that concept and then in the, analyzing it individually okay at some approximation level you start to finding information okay and then uh, examining it okay and then passing it to, to to the detailed design which detail you uh you come you drum up with the specification specific specification for each concept and embodiment that you already uh, analyzed and then you come up with the final choice of material or process summit so this is uh, another uh, uh, system okay from uh, apart from the that uh, linear uh, one way uh, we can say one, uh, I mean, like a closed loop uh, uh, design flowchart is actually we can also uh, study using uh, uh, some uh, uh, sort of uh, analyzing at a technical level uh, already, starting at a technical system. You already come up with uh, uh, in this in this practice or in this uh, uh, method is that you've already come up, okay, uh, for example, you, when you, uh, you want to uh, studying or maybe uh, already have have uh, come up with a uh, product in hand for example like you want to uh, make a new vehicle a new a vehicle model or new car model so you already have that that idea okay this is uh, the new car model that, that that we need okay and we uh, we we break it down to every uh, assembly parts or sub assembly parts so from the car one vehicle uh, one car so we break it down uh, from first the uh, engine, okay, the drivetrain, and then moving on to the uh, to the uh, driving system, okay, and then moving on to the uh, to the chassis. Okay, you break it down to each each individual assembly, okay, and that the individual individual assembly you break it further down to each component, each detail component individually. Okay, so this is also uh, also uh, apart from that approach. Uh, I mean, that you uh, that that people are using from the market needs to the product specification. You also can consider uh, one technical system that you already have in mind. Okay, one car, uh, for example, that one a uh, uh, model of vehicle that you want to improve on, and then you break it down to different uh, sub assembly that you uh, already uh, list down. You already worked out. Okay, this part, this part, and then uh, all these are furthermore. Uh, further break down, broke down into its uh, individual uh, component. Okay, so this is uh, one example that that, that also uh, how we approach uh, design the design process. I mean that, mean that from not from the market need, but actually from coming up with actually the the the, the product or the system that you want or, uh, in uh, in uh, prior to doing the the, uh, the the study. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, and this is uh, this, this kind of uh, uh, method is that we call the product as a technical system. Okay, as I said just now, uh, we already have uh, that car that we want to uh, that we want to uh, further analyze. So we consisting of sub assemblies, and from the sub assembly, we go to the individual components. Another method is that we uh, not from uh, uh, not from the market needs, not from the from the studying a technical system, but from a function point of view. Okay, mean that we have uh, uh, already have a, uh, a little bit uh, a little bit of uh, the same as a technical system uh, coming down to the sub assembly and also but in the in this uh, area in, in this in this uh, in this practice that we study the technical system 
but we break it down to each function that we want of the technical system, not from the uh, subsystem. Meaning that, for example, the car, as opposed to uh, you, you, uh, you break it down to drivetrain, uh, I mean, uh, controlling, uh, I, I mean, and also for the chassis. Now we go towards the, if a car, we, we break it down to the, uh, for example, function of comfort, uh, uh, I mean, under function of uh, acceleration, also uh, we can then uh, then we just break it down to what function that we want of a of a of a car or of a of a system that we want. Okay, so it's a bit different approach. So that in in so in 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 that kind of a approach, you have more of a uh, as you see here, for example, you have more of a relation between let's say for function one with function four and also relates to function two uh, this function four relates to function three for example okay not as the same as that when we study using a, a kind of a technical system analysis and then not that we 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 break it down to sub assembly but we're now looking at functions if you want to say all right uh, we want to achieve a certain comfort level it's not only about the uh, about the, the 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 kind of uh, uh, seats that we want, but also the 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 suspension system that we want, so that to to achieve and that suspension system also can relate with the and also relate with the chassis. I mean that if a car is if it's too light, it can it can also even affect the the the, the comfort level of the of the, of the passenger. Okay, but if it's too light, then it'll be affecting the uh, at the same time, the, you want to consider about uh, uh, about the mileage of the of the vehicle. Okay, so not only we we studying uh, the individual subsystem okay, uh, as previously as uh, the engine or the uh, the the suspension or the chassis, but now we trying to relate all of it together. Okay, uh, having all and then considering all the inputs. And then uh, what are the outputs that we require? So these are the uh, sort of uh, three uh, three uh, process or flowchart that that normally that, that people or in the industry can uh, that, that that apply to. Okay, it's actually uh, in reality it's not as simple as finding a linear path. Okay, if you noticed uh, uh, when I talked about. Uh, the first uh, method is just going, having the market needs going down straight away to the product specification, uh, and and the second method is you uh, you have a technical system sub assembly going down to individual components uh, that of uh, uh, that is uh, uh, that is come coming from the this uh, particular uh, particular sub assembly. Or even like for example, in, in, in even if, even you consider function also, you finding okay this function relates to this 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 uh, uh, function five and then moving to function six, uh, all the energy input that we are considered and then coming up with the output that we want. So oftentimes it's actually not as linear as it seems. Okay, so uh, in reality, most of it is something uh, a little bit like a like the one in 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 the method one is that you have the a concept a lot of concept coming in. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the first uh, concept, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and so on and so forth. You have the all these a bunch of concepts down, and then coming out, and then when you when you analyze this, the, the first concept, you come out with the uh, the fourth, not 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 necessarily the first. Uh, I mean, like uh, scrutinizing the first embodiment, meaning the first. Uh, uh, it could be uh, that meaning that it's not straight away as the the first concept going to the the first uh, rough idea. It could be it could probably be the fourth rough idea, and then this fourth rough, rough idea could be the final detailed and uh, I mean the second uh, detailed uh, uh, product uh, specification or drawing that 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 coming onto the product. You know, for example, when you start out with the concept, okay, uh, having a car. Okay, okay, car. Then, then you say that you need uh, uh, an engine. That is, you say you, you put in about uh, 1.5 for uh, you have, maybe you want to have a 1.5 uh, uh, liter uh, uh, engine that you want to have the, uh, that you come up. Okay, I want a 1.5 liter engine. But we come down detail. Okay, if this 1.5 liter, what kind of uh, uh, what kind of arrangement that I want? Is it is it going to be have a, a di with different technology? A VTEC uh, you want to use, or it will be uh, naturally aspirated, or will be uh, 
artificial aspirated with a turbocharged uh, engine. So all this, uh, and then it, it's actually not necessarily the the, the final the, the engine will be the, the 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 first detail, but it could be actually when you come up with the car, if you come up with the engine second, probably you come you come across okay, but we need this kind of uh, chassis first to support that engine. So you come with another uh, rough idea. Uh, sorry, this. Uh, uh, that do, that's that is what it means by the not necessarily the the so all this actually what what I think that you've gone through uh, when you went uh, when you took uh, for example PDD okay uh, there is no actually there is no clear linear path coming out to the to the objective it's always uh, oftentimes some sort of arrow some sort of uh, uh, closed and, and then uh, all these uh, ideas linking each to each other and oftentimes it's not a straight uh, uh, straight uh, process okay so a linear process okay okay so uh, so and then uh, uh, we have in design and in, uh, if you I think you also gone through uh, in your product design uh, subject. Okay, there are three types of uh, uh, design that that normally uh, in, in in practice that we have. The first one is actually going. Uh, uh, the first is having an original design. Okay, starting from a really new concept and really, uh, I mean, starting something from 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 scratch with with no one uh, being being uh, been 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 done before. Okay, so uh, I mean, like for example, uh, uh, when we talked about, uh, uh, for example, the the uh, the car, for example. So when originally thought of. It's actually coming from if you if you if we try to go really back, okay, to the early civilization, it's actually a, a, a horse carriage or being driven by by uh, by uh, an animal. And early uh, at an early point, we used, uh, uh, for example, uh, the a cow, okay, trying to uh, help bringing uh, to bring uh, a lot of uh, goods. Okay, even people at uh, in at, at time. So, so that was the original design. Actually, the car is really a, a new concept, and then that concept started from developing wheel. Okay, so this is uh, this is what it means by original design. I mean that you starting from really new concept that no 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 other product is 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 being is been done before. Okay. Uh, if you talk about uh, uh, the than car, for example, even uh, an airplane, okay, not the modern airplane, but the early on uh, uh, that is being used to uh, for for flight, uh, like the uh, the Wright brothers. So that was the original, uh, ori that is an original design, new concept. Uh, I mean, like new uh, developing information and then fi finding finding uh, information uh, to uh, that necessary to implement it. So this is. Uh, is uh, really uh, uh, not not starting from uh, from a previous design uh, for an adaptive design. Okay, and this is what. But no, normally original design, original design we don't see much nowadays in the modern era. We don't see much of an original design. Okay, uh, we often see. Uh, uh, I mean, we often see is what we have is actually more of a uh, adaptive design. Okay, meaning that starting with an existing product. And then and then uh, changing it to uh, to uh, have a better performance, uh, reducing cost, uh, better user experience. Okay, so normally it's a, an adaptive, and uh, people say maybe that uh, oftentimes um, they say uh, uh, I mean recently the iPhone 12 just just came out a new model of iPhone 12, and then people uh, some uh, uh, I mean users that uh, that not really a, a, a fan of the of a product would some would oftentimes uh, degrade it saying that it's, there's no innovation, but uh, but in, in that point I think I I can uh, I mean it's I digress a bit because uh, we, we we say that that it's not something new but it's always they they always improve on on the previous product. Oftentimes, and the, the, not not all companies that wants to start uh, a, a new product that is uh, worse than the than their, their previous model. So uh, this is what we often see that uh, actually uh, that 
most of the products, uh, most of the, what we have is a, a, are all adaptive. Most of them are adaptive. Uh, and the phones are of our smartphones are often the the product of uh, improvement from the previous model. Our laptop, our electronic gadgets are improvement from the previous uh, model. Our cars actually uh, improvement of the our vehicles. I mean our motorcycles, our our uh, our our cars are actually an improvement of the previous model. So these are actually uh, uh, actually uh, what what we have uh, uh, majority of it. Because, and then the reason is that because it's it's much easier, it's more uh, it's more economical to start. Uh, I mean, just improving from an adaptive uh, point of view, uh, I mean, from an economic from point of view, if we took the approach of adaptive. So most, I mean, most companies, most uh, industries that you that you think every time you think of something, uh, okay, this company is coming with a product. Oftentimes, it's actually a, an improvement of a previous product. Okay. If you think something that you you say okay this is this new this is a new computer this is really uh, an, an achievement but actually it's a previous uh, model. If you say this is a a new uh, a new uh, fan, oftentimes actually a uh, adapt uh, 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 an improvement from a previous product. Next is a bearing design. So bearing design is much more uh, much more uh, uh, smaller. Uh, objective in its scale, meaning that uh, 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 every word I, uh, and then every meant, uh, I meant word of it is that the very design is just uh, I mean changing the scale, dimension, or detailing uh, the product without changing any function. So, um, for example, like I talked about just now about the iPhone 12. So, uh, when when people uh, say uh, when uh, and, and if you look it, if you break it down, actually the the the, the hardware. Uh, between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini, there is not much difference. Okay, it's still the same chip that they use, the same battery that they, they use. It's just that they just uh, changing the scale of the dimension. Okay, they change the screen size and then they change the the size of the of the casing to meet that 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 dimension. In terms of hardware and then performance, actually just the same uh, phone. Okay. In 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 case is that because it wants to uh, trying to satisfy a, uh, another uh, uh, market area that that require that that is being uh, that's uh, already comfortable with the size of the previous iPhone five uh, I mean the last generation iPhone five okay but when when we came to iPhone six they already started with the larger size of the of the of the screen of the phone itself so they're trying to uh, satisfy with the a previous generation of iPhone five. And uh, and then, but in terms of the, the 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 performance, in terms of the the function, is still the same. You have the same uh, OS, and if even uh, Apple kind of uh, Apple's method of of, of update, you see, is that they always come out with a new software update with the uh, latest phone first. So, uh, in terms of everything, is under the hood is essentially the same. It's just the difference in. Uh, the dimension, uh, uh, the detailing, uh, and uh, also when uh, if you remember uh, when uh, the iPhone, uh, I can't remember the at the time it was the iPhone 5 model that came with different colors, a uh, different range. You have the iPhone uh, with the one that uh, because if you if the base model of the iPhone is actually made of metal, then you have the the, the they call it the iPhone. See, I can't remember iPhone what model uh, that that uses plastic. So essentially, it's just in under the hood, it's just the same phone, but with a different detailing. So, uh, uh, now with different uh, color casing and uh, plastic, so it, it can be it can it uh, so that it, that uh, so that the company can sell it at a uh, a much uh, lower price as compared to the base model. Okay, so that is an example of the variant. So uh, before continue, so uh, do you understand about these three uh, design type, original, adaptive, and variant? So everyone, uh, do you understand? Anyone? Ada? So before I continue, boleh faham eh? No, ada. So, boleh. Okay, okay, alright. Okay, thank you. Good. So, uh, so this is just uh, uh, the, the summary of the uh, the design process I talked about. Okay, the key part of the design is uh, finally is just that uh, when I when when uh, the one that I discussed about uh, this uh, 
figure here is that all this thing incarnated is that in the end is that you in the design and selecting even select going out to to selecting materials that is the flexibility mean that you want to explore uh, what are the options that you have quickly okay but but you have to always that keeping the big picture uh, uh, in focus meaning that you don't want to uh, even though we start with uh, you using this 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 method of studying according to function, you always want to put in the technical system as you focus what you from your uh, from your your product or from your uh, function that you want. Uh, I mean, like the objective that you want. So you always keep that in 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 the big picture, uh, regardless of what method, what flowchart that you use. Okay. Uh, the first is that you have to really make it flexible, not not really enclosing it, okay, not really uh, fixing uh, fixing or resetting uh, a desired, but always keeping it flex, uh, open and uh, flexible, exploring uh, other options, but at the same time keeping keeping the 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 big picture, keeping what you want to achieve is always in focus, okay. That is uh, what what we want to. Uh, uh, what we want to achieve in in the end okay so next uh, I've talked about the design process next I'll be talking about the selection strategy and I'll be talking uh, this is uh, I'm just coming about uh, about eight slides left uh, and then the uh, sorry nine slides left and then there's just the final slide is just the, the end if you if you look at the at the my my PowerPoint slide that I've shared okay so I only talk about up until the uh, how you do uh, translation. Okay, so I only uh, just uh, this the the address of two parts. I will be continuing with our next uh, lecture session uh, next week. Okay. So uh, uh, I've talked about the, that's just now about the uh, the linear design process. Okay. So uh, this is uh, what normally the strategy that we apply when we want to do uh, material selection. Okay. Uh, we have all this information or materials that we have already gathered. Okay? And for example, that I've shown yesterday uh, with our lab session. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think there was uh, sorry uh, uh, with our lab session yeah, yesterday. Uh, so we all this information, for example, that when you did your lab session uh, using level two, uh, you see about 100 types of different materials that we have okay we we have that uh, that 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 available that is available to us to to explore okay for us to choose to us uh, for us to study okay and then uh, when we have that we translate uh, we have the input of translating the design requirements that we express as the function constraint objective and the okay and then from there we we translate all this information that we have then we next we screen we, when we have that, that that information we 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 break it down to this is the function this is the constraint this is the objective and these are the variables that that, that the freedom of that i i can use uh, to for deciding next we screen it we try to weed out what are the uh, materials that we that we think that cannot uh, achieve the objective that you want. Then third, we move on. We re-rank it, okay, like you done in the in yesterday's uh, lab session. I I've shown an example. We started off. We say that the uh, the text that you have, okay, saying that this is the uh, we want the helmet visor, and then it must have uh, uh, a certain range of of uh, fracture toughness. Uh, they will say that there's a certain range of uh, uh, transparency, uh, transparent materials. Okay, then you've come down to the screening. We already limited because the transparent materials with the optical quality automatically you already eliminate, eliminate metals. Most of the metals already eliminated. If you notice, okay, most of the metals, most of the natural materials like wood and everything you already eliminate. That's what's the screen, uh, what is screening meant. That eliminate materials that we that cannot achieve the objective that you want. And from there, from that objective, then we rank it because uh, not all materials are, have, uh, all of them have the same uh, properties. Okay, they have, normally materials have a range of properties. Uh, if you remember, 
fact when you did the uh, the lab when you look at the in each individual materials you see that the materials never have a kind of uh, uh, a set uh, meaning that uh, a set uh, property meaning that a, a really set final uh, value of a uh, uh, arbitrary value i mean like a really finite uh, uh, value I mean, of, oftentimes just have an arbitrary range that a range of a materials for example even the even a density of the materials also it could be this this range because uh, because there is no actually uh, uh, i mean a really a finite really uh, final uh, objective uh, or, or say uh, property of a Oftentimes, are always in ranges. Okay, the 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 strength always in range, the 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 fracture toughness always in range. Okay, all of this, uh, except for maybe certain, uh, uh, for example, certain uh, properties, but most of it are always in range. So from that range that we have, so then then we rank it. Meaning that we have, uh, as I said yesterday, we can rank it with from the lowest value to the highest value, from the worst to the best, or we have the highest value to the lowest value, or the the uh, the the best or the highest property to the lowest property, depending on what uh, objective. For example, if you want to say something that you the 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 objective is finding something with uh, uh, really low uh, i mean like low uh, low weight or maybe uh, or say low density a light material you don't want to something that heavy material of course you you cannot rank i mean like, oh, you can rank from the heaviest uh, meaning having heavy density to the lower density uh, with a lower density but it makes more uh, more easier to to for the decision making to rank with the lowest density to the high density because your objective is finding a material with a lower density you want the lightweight material same school if you want to find a material with a with the visor that you want to have a really high fracture toughness mean that you that material can withstand uh and can withstand really extreme uh condition of being uh, load uh, being uh, it can withstand uh, uh i mean the function very uh, i mean in a, in a longer period so of course, then, then you rank uh, that when the visor you rank first uh, make, makes more sense that you rank it with the highest fracture toughness and then going to the lower fracture toughness. Okay, so this is the 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 rank maybe not. It all depends on the objective. Okay, what do you want? Uh, if you want to have if, if you want to material with a lower cost, then you, you it makes more sense to rank it uh, according to the lowest uh, price of the cheapest material to the more material so that is about ranking and then next is finally the seeking documentation that you did with our last uh, lab session you finding uh, document you finding more information to help you with the finding with the final decision okay so some of you uh, already uh, I mean looking at and then um, uh, choose uh, all this so you come to a conclusion so meaning that even though uh, the the software says okay this but it cannot oftentimes it doesn't give uh, when you use csd pack oftentimes you don't come up with uh, just one material there is no uh, being uh, in, in in real life being in uh, when you work when you go out working as an engineer uh, working in in a production uh, uh, being uh, being a even uh, being a technologist there is no often one solution that fits all there is always some compromise there is always uh, some uh, there is always an option okay on the table okay for example uh, i give an example uh, I, I i i talk about apple uh, because it's much easier to to relate uh, me personally because I, even though i don't i, I had uh, uh, an iphone before and i use it for uh, i think about more than a year i think i i uh, or two years i think the most that i can tolerate with it and i switched back to an android point because i really uh, on a personal objective i really cannot uh, i mean uh, how to say uh, the word is that i cannot uh, tolerate the all these uh, uh, requirements that apple uh, set in uh, in the closed system okay but uh, given an example is that most of you see that the apple products is is uh, to me personally i mean like you have maybe your own opinion uh, on it it's just uh, uh, 
an elevated or an exaggeration of uh, of uh, of the of the of the, uh, of the experience meaning that uh, it comes down to just uh, uh, when we say about function that you have actually other alternative that is makes that can achieve uh, uh, say apple's uh, say objective but at the same time it has much low cost it has better user experience it has better uh, um, uh, uh, better specifications even Okay, now I give an example. For example, an, uh, an Apple, uh, Apple laptop, uh, a Mac, a MacBook. Okay, you can imagine that it is a, it, it is a, a, the casing is actually a single uh, aluminium piece. It's actually not joined. Okay, if you if anyone here has an uh, using an Apple laptop, you don't see joints in. in you don't see joints. I mean, when I say joints, meaning that. Uh, the casing itself have little minimum assembly of uh, joint, meaning that it has. Uh, I mean, like when you try to open it, it's actually. Um, uh, I mean that you can open actually from the from the bottom case, but it's actually a piece of uh, of uh, a metal that is being that is uh, uh, that is be, that has been uh, formed into that 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 shape. And uh, I've read an article actually uh, in Apple itself uh, that they. They purposely uh, used a single block of aluminium and uh, machine it to the final dimension that they want to get that that using to the uh, uh, the the pro I mean the, the shape that they want for the casing of a, of the, the of the MacBook. They could use other kind of uh, of uh, of of uh, process to to achieve that, but instead they choose the the much uh, more uh, uh, the much expensive, uh, the more tedious, the more expensive route, and in the end, they transfer those kind of uh, uh, costs to the consumer. Okay, uh, again, this is just my personal opinion of it. Okay, you you have you have you have your own, but I'm saying that this is just of uh, what uh, what personal experience, uh, what I see. Uh, I mean, like with other companies that with other companies, they always find that they want to make it more cost effective. But in in the Apple's case, they they sort of are thinking of it, uh, of the experience itself. So coming back is that, uh, as I say just now, it's all it's not often the the final material choice. It's not often uh, not the uh, it's not often the, a one choice that fits all requirement that you want. Okay, if I talk about uh, just now, I talk about phone. Uh, the new iPhone 12, they come out even the uh, previous iteration of phones, starting with the first iPhone. And then the iPhone, uh, iPhone 3G, 3GS, all of them had came up with just one type of model. But in the end, when they when the the market shifted changes, then all uh, they come up with different models of phone, different sizing, uh, different two uh, K. So it's not often because uh, human nature is that we we have we love to have that that that, that option. Okay, we have, we all, we not have that option of choosing, and we know that in reality also, even when now when uh, subconsciously we all, we don't choose something uh, def definite. Uh, yeah, the word I was saying is definite. You always find some compromise. Okay, so that's what that is what uh, what what in reality what uh, material even material selection uh, being applied to is that we don't have that definite. Uh, even though uh, in certain cases we do. Okay, not mean not 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 necessarily say I'm saying that all the time we we have we always have uh, a multiple choice we always have uh, more than one choice, but it's just majority of it we always have uh, more than one choice. It's just that choosing the final uh, the final candidate uh, through finally using seeking documentations, finding more information, looking up online, find uh, asking uh, other uh, people for for experience. Uh, coming then coming to the final decision, and oftentimes it it always not it doesn't tick all our required boxes, but it uh oftentimes it's just a, a compromise, uh taking some uh taking some uh take some uh, list uh, box that we have, and then discarding something that we can we think that we can discard, okay? Boleh faham eh? I think you can understand the the idea eh? Maksudnya uh, what uh, sorry moment I what I am trying uh, I will speak in Malay. So, uh, apa yang saya cakap tadi macam even yang dah perlek semalam tu, kamu akhirnya nanti akan pilih uh, takkan takkan ada satu material satu uh, keputusan yang yang tentu sentiasa akan ada. Uh, often times kebiasaannya mesti akan ada uh, pilihan. Okay. 
so uh, translation so what is uh, the process of translation you already i you already did with uh, our lab yesterday it's actually just a simple uh, converting designing uh, the design commerce into a prescription or uh, a word uh, uh, for the for the material or process to shape it okay so engine any engineering component has one or more functions and then it will be subject to constraint and, and uh, oftentimes have one or more objective okay so the translation is actually uh, you have you have uh, let's say you already done uh, market study you you take input you did you do interview you you have uh, uh, and then uh, or, or maybe your your superior your boss or your manager comes to you say okay i want you to design our uh, new model of car uh, for us so oftentimes it's just coming from the, those abstract uh, idea and then convert translating it to to a more uh, to a more uh, structured information okay so this is what translation is, is meaning that and then uh, uh, after we uh, have that those information we said uh, we we adjust certain parameters that that can be used to in order to the objective which is next is the free variables so all these function that we have uh, constraints uh, objective and free variables we uh, we table it in a in a, in a more structured table that that they find the boundaries of uh, selecting that material so th this is the first step in relating the design requirements to the material properties I mean that we clearly state the function that we want the constraint the objective and the free variables okay so this is the table okay so uh, so what is the function is is actually basically asking what does the component do okay uh, is, is to support a load sorry okay is it to contain a pressure uh, to transmit heat okay and so, and, and, and any more uh, for example that we did uh, the visor if you don't want to write helmet visor you can put in either you can put just uh, for example say for face covering a helmet uh, to uh, accessory to face covering can be accepted okay okay it's just that we actually uh, it's just much easier when we say visor then we already know that that, that the visor function if you want to put in more detail you if you don't if you prefer really spell out then you then you just spell out okay the uh, a covering uh, for an accessory covering for a helmet for example it's still uh, if it's still understandable then it's okay okay it can be accepted if you if you put in visor then people already uh, understand that okay this visor is to to sub to its function is actually to uh, to protect the uh, the user from uh, incoming debris okay to to, to pro for, for protection physical protection and constraint what are constraints these are non-negotiable conditions that must be met meaning that uh, uh, for example uh, you already set a dimension Okay, I say just now the iPhone. Pro, so probably uh, because the iPhone already have studied, so they say that oftentimes users uh, they, they they some of their market demographics that they study. Okay, they still some users still uh, like uh, the the size of the uh, the last uh, the iPhone five that they, they, that they like. So that's why they they have that iPhone mini, um, iPhone twelve mini that they that they that they they launch together with, even with the base. So this they, they, these are the conditions that they meaning that they say okay this it must meet this dimension okay it must meet this dimension that I already fixed so and the rest uh, it can can be uh, it can be considered uh, uh, I mean differently okay or a component must carry a design load without failure when we talked about the helmet advisor yesterday we have to have a, this is the maximum uh, 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 fracture toughness so then we uh, then we we we, we set it so it, um, maybe it can be you want it to be an insulator or a conductor of heat or electricity okay so we set it and it, and it must have uh, or we say that it must fun function in certain range of temperature in a given environment okay and and anything any idea that you you think constraint is is this is what we set okay that is uh, from the information that we get and the objective objective is what is what is need to be maximized or minimized uh, often times we hear uh, if you uh, some of you maybe probably uh, had experience working company okay often times uh, engineer would, uh, the, the the manager would come to the engineer and say okay I want to you to 
uh, help me with with our post, uh, production and everything, but make it cheap as possible, make it as, as cost effective as possible. This is a normal that you always hear uh, in production uh, in the industry that we, uh, we have. So they want to minimize the cost as much as possible. OK, regardless of uh, not regardless, meaning that uh, achieving, but at the same time, not compromising quality, but all, uh, oftentimes they want to make it as, uh, as cheap as possible so that the the, the margin, uh, sale margin would be much larger. OK, or we want something, as I said, uh, light, OK, uh, a car, uh, for example, a vehicle, if it's uh, lighter at the same time, then you you can, you can get uh, a lot uh, higher mileage. But if it's uh, too light, then it can it will suffer from the uh, uh, safety in terms of the aerodynamic uh, of the car, the center of gravity can can suffer. Okay, so uh, that is an example. Okay, or we want something that is to be uh, the maximizing the safety, or even some of this actually can be a combination. Okay, combination of uh, of a different objective. And finally, very pre variable is that the parameters that the that the designer can free to change. Okay, this is often sometimes the choice of material that you we put in our last uh, session. That session we put it the, the the finally the choice of material is open. That we uh, I mean that we can choose any kind of material that we want as long as it meet these constraints objective. Uh, uh, then we, we we choose it. I mean that this is the that we 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 know that we want to. Uh, uh, that we want to have the freedom of of, of, of coming to the decision, uh, not necessarily maybe uh, material only. We can put a choice of process. So when we choosing a process that we have the constraint, the material we say can, this process must be able to uh, shape or form uh, plastic materials. Okay, and then the the objective that the the process must be achieved as cheap as possible. And the free variable we put in as the choice of process. Any kind of process that can meet the constraint. Uh, that can meet the uh, the objective, then that is how then we can we can take into consideration. Okay, so uh, I mean it's not just uh, limited to uh, the, the this table the table of uh, translation or we say a translation table table translation also we can uh, say not limit to only material but also to uh, process or even to function itself to discuss more in detail function. OK, I want to say uh, a car must be able to move from this point to this point, but the concept must be this. The objective of the car must be this. And uh, what are the few variables that we have? OK, so it's not limited to just only material or process or any kind of uh, things that we can we can break it down. We can uh, choose it. OK, we can use the translation table. So again, I talked about what is the constraint because it's essentially just a condition that must be met. Okay, that we wouldn't that certain things that we cannot compromise. We say that this is what we that the material or the product or the process must meet without question. Okay, uh, uh, this is what uh, uh, this is what defined by constraint meaning that. So the objective is that what we want to achieve. Okay, we have the constraint and then we have the objective. Okay, so the objective comes out to when we talk about constraint that we talk about something that is uh, that is non-negotiable that is not that we cannot we, we cannot sacrifice we want that to be there then the objective is what we we strive to achieve okay what we uh, a, a value that we want to either maximize or minimize it okay so these are the common uh, constraints that you you will uh, that is going on with this uh, course uh, i mean in later on these are the common uh, words of constraint that you uh, will see. I'm sorry. Okay. So you oftentimes see uh, it must meet uh, a certain thickness, uh, certain thickness as, uh, must achieve a certain strength, have a, a minimum fracture toughness. It must be thermally conductive, electric, electrically resist. Uh, resistive, it has, it can, uh, uh, I mean, conduct a uh, magnetic, uh, and then it has a certain value of a uh, certain optical transparency. It must uh, achieve a certain cost, achieve a certain mass, and these are a common uh, constraint that you you will be uh, being exposed to in in, in the later uh, weeks uh, in our course. Next would be the common objectives. Okay, either you want to minimize cost. Okay, oftentimes you don't want to maximize cost, you want to minimize uh, cost, okay, then because it will be counter 
counterintuitive, meaning that by logic, if you want to maximize cost, then you're making. Th there are cases that you want to maximize cost. Okay, that you want to uh, meaning that not maxim you not missing maximizing cost, but you don't consider cost as to as a as a constraint. Okay, for example, uh, I can't remember there is one uh, uh, one uh, manufacturer actually make uh, automobile manufacturer in Malaysia actually that make custom cars. Okay, so the the production is actually based on order only. And they, they only have a, a few. I can't remember. It, it, it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a car manufacturer in Malaysia based in uh, based in in the in in the Shah Alam area. I can't remember what what, what the company is. And that to them the cost is not an issue. The, to them the cost is the the user experience. The 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 that the, they want to achieve regardless of the uh, of the cost. But although there are some constraints maybe on cost of. Uh, or that they, 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 they consider but most of the time it's not that their main concern okay and you also also minim, uh, mass you want uh, of times you want to minimize man, the, you want to uh, uh, a, a much lighter uh, product a much lighter material that you want to achieve okay and it's not oops, sorry uh, it's not often that you It's not often that mass that you want to uh, maximize, okay? Unless in certain cases that you want to uh, consider uh, for for purpose uh, for specific reason, okay? But normally mass we achieve something to uh, to be uh, much uh, at the lower vo uh, value. Uh, minimize volume meaning that it takes up a, a minimum space, okay? Uh, uh, the our our phone uh, previously. Uh, and I think no one, uh, if you remember uh, early on, uh, I think none of you may, maybe have come across actually uh, uh, a Motorola, uh, a phone that is actually in the shape of a briefcase. Okay, but that that was was one one of the early uh, mobile phone uh, that was available in, even in Malaysia at the time. So then afterwards, then we change it to the 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 after technology. Uh, evolve innovation evolve so we can shrink the volume of phone previously uh, a phone must be uh, uh, fixed in a, in a, in a certain uh, place a certain point now we can take it anywhere and uh, for impact environment we usually want to uh, minimize it because of the current uh, climate change uh, situation uh, the effect on the environment more concern of it so usually we want to uh, another point is that we want to minimize the impact of the environment Next is uh, also even we can uh, say we want to minimize heat loss. Uh, this oftentimes because heat is actually an energy, and if we lose heat, actually we lose. Uh, I mean we lose precious energy. Okay, even cars actually, uh, they uh, design of the engine itself trying to minimize heat loss. The way it's the engine is being designed, they want to minimize heat loss because uh, when you have too much heat. Then you have, uh, then the is and the engine will won't operate at a, uh, at a really an efficient level. So if we trying to, uh, even though combustion, uh, I mean releases a lot of energy, a lot of heat, but that heat it, it wants to be used to, uh, to as an energy to move the car to to make the car uh, and move uh, uh, more efficiently so if you lose much energy to to the environment then you actually making uh, you know you don't have a much a very uh, efficient uh, system okay next is uh, energy storage okay okay energy storage you want to uh, maximize for example the battery design uh, you want to make it much uh, uh, much higher capacity uh, energy that you can you can store, and finally uh, for heat flow also you want to maximize meaning that uh, flow that's not uh, the heat won't have much restriction, uh, so that it uh, for example uh, maybe a a kettle so that the heat flow is 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 sufficient so that it uh, it can uh, heat uh, water boil water at a much faster rate so it won't uh, so uh, if you have uh, a, a restriction of the heat flow, then uh, take, it will uh, take a longer time to heat the or boil the water. Then it will be much waste on the uh, electrical energy. Okay. So this is some common concern object objective that you'll be uh, exposed to later in the course. So this is an example of uh, of translation that I wanted to discuss about. 
okay for example for heat sink for microchips okay if you look uh, in the information here okay a microchip may only consume milliwatts meaning a really tiny amount of uh, energy that they uh, uh, power that they consume okay it, it cannot consume so much and this power is dissipated in a tiny volume a really small space making the power density high meaning that you have you you consume energy but at the same time you dissipate it uh, through tiny uh, area of volume that you uh, uh, i mean uh, and losing uh, i mean and dissipating it okay that heat sink it takes up the the heat from the microchip and then that heat sink would need to dissipate that heat uh, through tiny areas okay that's what it says by make but that's what it means by the power density high okay and as this as this uh, chip shrink and the clock speeds i mean the 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 the, the microchip is functioning at very high uh, speed becomes a problem okay so if the chip in the pc can can reach up to 85 degrees c if you actually if someone maybe uh, open their their physical uh, cpu if you're using laptop that'll be different but if you have a, a, a cpu with a with a, with the the case uh, i mean and then uh, i mean uh, separate with the, the monitor then if you uh, open your your case if you measure the, the the temperature of the uh, of the chip itself oftentimes it's reach about around 85 degrees centigrade and it, it will require for cooling okay and then if uh, multiple chip modules you can pack as many as more than 100 more than 100 chips into a single subset and they can go even hotter up to 180 degrees c okay if, furthermore if you even uh, attempt to uh, overclock it then it will be much higher okay that's why you look at uh, uh, PCs that are really uh, stress uh, related, very really high stress uh, usage, uh, for example, in gaming or in design or in uh, in servers and uh, in, uh, for example, for uh, animation, they have this really large uh, and then really dedicated cooling system. Okay. As far if you look, if you look at the, if you search YouTube, uh, uh, I mean like really uh, extravagant, uh, really, uh, uh, I mean PC for gaming. You see that they they use uh, liquid cooling. Uh, and there is even I, I saw one example of a of a, a PC being used for to run uh, a game at very high frame rate. They use liquid nitrogen to to cool down the 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 CPU or the the, the PC itself. Okay. Uh, so that is the function of heat sink is actually uh, keeping uh, uh, make sure that the heat is under control uh, then it is directly attached to the uh, chip itself okay so the heat sink is becomes a critical component okay and it limits uh, for uh, uh, and then it can uh, so the, the its performance is and how can it be maximized okay so we have to prevent uh, electrical coupling and stray capacitors and everything so these are the, the information that we uh, uh that we looked on okay uh, and these are the details okay so what are the how we translate it so the function that we want is heat sink the product that we want is heat sink you can put air to heat dissipation for microchip it, it can also be, be understood but it'll be easier if you put in the heat sink so and the heat sink must be so what are the consent from the information that we have it said it must be uh, electrically conducting uh, sorry electrically in insulating because if it's conductive then it will it will sort of uh, work with the, the the microchip itself it will become part of the component of the microchip so we don't want that we want it to be a separate component to just to uh, dissipating heat so that's why it will, that's why the requirement it says that must be insulating uh, heat insu uh, uh, sorry electrical insulating and the temperature range is much higher because I said just now it can reach as as far as far as 180 degrees centigrade, and also the concept the, the dimensions already specified mean that the same uh, almost the same dimension as the microchip itself as the, as the CPU itself. So what objective is we have to maximize the thermal conductivity, mean that it, it is really high. It must have really high. Uh, the highest possible thermal conductivity value so that it can dissipate heat fast it, so that it, the, the chip can uh, uh, can uh, function efficiently okay and what do free velvet aware with the uh, choice of material okay 
so uh, uh, so I want to uh, come down to the example of the trans uh, talked about the uh, translation so this is actually uh, uh, when we do uh, if I have a face-to-face -face session is that I uh, often uh, talk about the uh, what uh, I talk with the students uh, in the class also uh, an example of, uh, of uh, translating uh, a product in this case a pen okay so a pen is often uh, 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 we have two kinds of pen. We have a very expensive pen, or maybe a, and another one is a very cheap pen. Okay. So, uh, so this is uh, an example that 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 I'm gonna give in class is that you what are the different uh, distinct uh, uh, I mean uh, properties of a good pen and a uh, a cheap pen. Okay. So if we look at uh, if you see the, the 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 if we make a translation for example for a cheap pen. A cheap pen is that uh, it, with the function is uh, the cheap writing pen. Uh, and then uh, the constraint is that we put in there, the machine must be stiff uh, stiff enough because we want to use it, uh, we must be able to uh, retain our uh, load of use, usage. So the objective is that we minimize cost and uh, also uh, 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 minimize cost. And one of the few variables is the chosen materials. We can uh, any kind of materials that meet this objective is we uh, we can accept it. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, that is uh, all of the uh, for the of our session. So uh, I'll continue with the next session uh, uh, next week. And uh, so anyone does does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions you want to before I end? The, the uh, our session today anyone no, no questions uh... okay all right so uh, uh so you can go through the the, the powerpoint slide that i already uploaded uh, uh yesterday okay so uh, uh in the end, if you have any questions again uh, you can uh, ask in 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 our WhatsApp or in our Teams uh, group, I remind you, okay, to always uh, use the correct uh, link, and I'll be uploading uh, this uh, teaching video in also in our YouTube also, and also you can also view at our at our uh, uh, Teams uh, Microsoft stream, okay, okay. Uh, so, So, uh, so thank you everyone for attending today. So I remind you, please um, uh, don't forget to uh, keep, uh, record your attendance for today. Okay. Again, if you have any. Uh, um, attendance ada password eh? Ada password juga lagi. Yeah, yeah betul. Ada password. Okay, okay. I'll try. Uh, I'll uh, have to adjust it for today. Okay, then I'll uh, then uh, you can. Uh, the uh, later on uh, key in because I put in I put in a lot of uh, time for you to for for you to use eh? okay so later on uh, give me time a bit maybe after lunch then then I'll adjust the attendance okay so everyone thank you very much for attending uh, today thank you sir oh, thank you okay. thank you sir see thank you sir. next week okay? thank you bye thank you sir thank you sir Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.